Yeah, another demo is adding the support for uh, VXWorks Artos. So VXWorks Artos is basically one real-time operating system which is used widely in many uh, uh, industries. So here we can see aerospace, defense, automotive, energy, industrial, medical, startup, telecommunication. There are wide variety of uh, industries where this particular uh, Artos is used and it is uh, VXWorks 7. So VXWorks 7 is also having many variants. So we picked the latest one, which is uh, VXWorks 2020-03. So what we did first, we have to uh, install the VXWorks in our machine. So this is uh, the C drive where I created the WindRiver folder and I installed the complete package from WindRiver. So in this package, we got the compiler. This compiler is basically LLVM 15 and Rust. We are giving support for LLVM 15. This is CLang 15. And uh, we are having this VXWorks 7. So this subversion is 23.03, which we are giving support. And uh, this uh, package is having workbench. With that workbench, we can create the VSP and VIP project. So VSP is basically a VXWorks source build project where we can configure the uh, VXWorks kernel to get the only uh, required uh, package. And on the base of VSP, we have to create the VIP project, that is the VXWorks image project. So with this VIP project, one image get uh, uh, generated, that is VXWorks image, and that image we can uh, put on any hardware. So on any hardware where I am telling any hardware, it, here one thing is included like we have to specify which hardware for which hardware we have built the vsp so vsp project is built for uh, uh, some particular hardware that is psp we have to mention here while building the uh, vsp project so for our demonstration purpose we took uh, windows uh, as a psp and built this project after that, we added the support of uh, 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 VXWorks on our uh, target RTS. So now everything we have to uh, start from this uh, WRENV EXE. So what is WRENV? It is Wind River uh, utility that sets some environment and internal things. So from here, we can uh, go to our Eclipse, where we have uh, provided the support for VXWorks. So this is the path. So in this path, I can go here. And from here, we have to start the Eclipse. So if we want to start Eclipse from here, then uh, we will get some compilation issues. Uh, if we are going to compile uh, VXWorks supported uh, executable else everything will work fine so now same thing here we can see like uh, our eclipse is uh, started and here in target configuration we can see v x works 70 sim nt c line 15 we are supporting so as i have shown previously uh, wind river is uh, giving support till uh, c line 15 that is the latest uh, c line compiler support from Wind River. That's why we chose this one. So when we choose this one, we can see uh, many more things is already there. Like uh, before this demo, I have shown uh, CLang 16 that is also present here. So we have to choose CLang 15 and Gnu Make. And uh, for demonstration purpose, same way I have uh, taken Hello World uh, application here. Uh, yeah, and we can compile this application. And uh, one thing uh, to be noted, uh, by default, uh, uh, WindRiver uh, tell that their linking is uh, dynamic linking. That's why here in link argument, I have added 
static linking. So when I am adding static linking, in that case, I don't need to copy a dependent library uh, while executing uh, this uh, executable. So and one more thing, the executable which WinRiver is recommended should be in VXE. Uh, extension. So here executable VXC is uh, created. So this now how this should be uh, uh, execute. This should be executed on uh, WinRiver uh, simulator. So to uh, start the simulator, we have to go to the VIP folder and default this path. So see WinRiver workspace VIP default. I have already shown I have created VIP VX VIP project to generate the VX works image. Here VX sim uh, is the command to start the simulator. So here we can see uh, simulator for VX works is started. Now we have to go to uh, executable.exe path to, to start executable execution of this executable. So this path is basically in property. We can see uh, this is for WS. This is the path which already I saved uh, here. And one more thing uh, need to be not like everything. Whatever command we are issuing that should be under uh, quotes. So this command I am copying from here. And on VX work simulator, I will first go to this particular folder and add this folder. Executable is present. So to start execution of that executable, there is a uh, there is a different command. So RTP SP. So this is our application is RTP application and SP is for spawning the application. So that's why this command start from RTP SP. So I'm copying this command. And on this simulator, I am uh, issuing this command and I can see hello world from CPP capsule is present. So this is the complete execution of uh, hello world uh, model.